So um, uh, I did this capo 7th fret, which is the same key as the Stranger in the Alps version. The EP version, the killer EP version, is here. Um, uh, you'd play it the same. I kind of played it like, I kind of played the guitar part from the EP version in the key of the LP version. I just like, I, I find playing with a capo this high to be kind of uncomfortable. Um, and so here was better. There's one other way that I've seen her play it um, in that one uh, live performance that's actually like in a detuned version. If I have time, I'll show that. Um, okay, so, but let's do this uh, here with the capo at the seventh fret. Um, it's in, you know, three, three, four time, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, like the EP version starts with that, that thing, which is kind of the one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, so now E minor, this version of E minor with first finger on the second fret of the A string, second finger on second fret of the D string, third finger on third fret of the B string, and pinky on third fret of the um, high E string. Then you switch to this this C, which is keep third and fourth where they are, but put the first finger on the second fret of the D and the second finger on the third fret of the A. But then you also do a hammer on of the first finger. So it's so one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it switches to G, which is just the first and second finger moving down a string each. It's kind of a, the, the rhythm of it, two, three, one, two, three. It's like this hammer on kind of happens at the beginning of the measure. One and two, one and two and three. One and two and three. And then the same thing happens on the G. She kind of does this kind of thing. In both cases, it's kind of on, it's like on beat one. One and, you know, one and, one and is kind of the idea. It's the kind of thing, if it's not exact, you can still get the feeling, right? If you just do something like that. And then it goes, um, when it's, when it's walking down, I think it's just, this chord, which is like a G over F sharp, so it's like pick up the first and second fingers, put the first finger on the second fret of the low E, and that's just a walk down from the G back to the E minor. Okay, so that's sort of the, the basic verse progression, also intro progression. And it's, it's uh, two bars on E minor, one bar on C, then three bars on G, and then one bar of the walk down is like half a bar, so it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, second half of the verse goes E minor to C to G to C. Um, repeats the whole verse. Second time, don't do the walk down when you get to that oh, oh, oh part. Oh, 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 oh. Stay on the G for four bars and then go to D. Which you can either play this regular D sus four like this. First finger on the second fret of the G. Third finger on the third fret of the B. Pinky on the third fret of the high E. You could include the second fret on the low E, either with your thumb or with your first finger and then your second finger gets the second fret on the G. Or you could not do it at all. She kind of goes back between the D sus and the regular D, but more time on the D sus than the regular D. So it's kind of like... Just E minor for four bars. C. On the C 
see, and then to listen more carefully to whether the first finger is on the second fret of the D or if it's just open D, either one works. on E minor, four bars on C, and the second time go to D sus for eight bars, and then back to the O, -O, -O. Okay, so does that make sense, the chorus? Just four bars on E minor, four bars on C, four bars on G, four bars on D, then four bars on E minor, four bars on C, and then eight bars on D, and then back to the O, -O, -O. I haven't run out of time, I'm showing you the other version. Detune by three, so. So pretend you just tuned, like I just did, and now it's standard, well, standard tuning detuned by uh, a minor third. So like, this is C sharp now, that means this is F sharp, and this is B, and this is uh, <clears throat> E, and this is uh, G sharp, Now these are your chord shapes now, ready? Um, first finger on the 8th fret of the B, 2nd finger on the ninth fret of the D, 3rd finger on the 10th fret of the A, and pinky on the 10th fret of the high E, and then your thumb comes in here, and then, for, I'm not even sure where that, where that cut off, so I'll just show these chords one more time. First finger on the eighth fret of the B, second finger on the ninth fret of the D, third finger on the tenth fret of the A, and pinky on the tenth fret of the high E. That's like your E minor. Then your thumb comes in and plays the eighth fret on the low E. This is like your C. And then third finger moves down to the tenth fret on the low E, pinky moves to the 10th fret on the A. When you play this one, you don't want the high E to come out. And then the, the, the only other thing you have to worry about is when it goes to that long D, move this shape down to 3, 4, 5. That's the whole part because I really like the Stranger in the Alps version and in that version there's this little picky part in the in the chorus which is like you know that that part it's something like that I didn't really figure it out but just if you want to play that part so I would put my third finger on the one two three fourth fret of the D and maybe first finger on the second fret of the A and then you can pick that then maybe I move from the first finger to the second finger on the third fret of the A. Then maybe I move to third finger on the one, two, three, four, fifth fret of the A and second finger on the fourth fret of the D. And, and each time I'm picking A, D, G, D, A, D, G, D kind of thing. Something like that. Um, that's just like a nice part. Okay, I hope that explained that well. Um, and have a good day and I hope that works. Thanks.